Hello guys, how's everybody going? Um, today I'm going to talk about environment rendering, um, shades, or you know some some uh, techniques that help you um, create better graphics from Ryan. Okay. Um, for example, uh, this perspective. Let me just create a box down here, and let me just draw like a base face down here actually the box can be a little bit smaller um, so and you can you know you can show showing up done um, and you can also use the render view right which is like that okay um, and some the times if you want to render render it you just click this render and they will render okay uh, they will give you some shades um, different faces right and there's no lines um, there's like this edge right or smooth edge there's no like lines in here so it's a really good way when you uh, you can export this to the, your uh, perspective and create shades okay however um, usually when you uh, the default setting you will see this okay you see the shades so dark okay it's like purely black which is not what we want Okay, um, so to do this is r to change this is really easy. You just go to here options, um, and just um, then it's Rhino render. Uh, you click Rhino render, and see here M ambient li light. Okay, you want to change this to just to a color. Okay, for example, it can be blue down here. Okay, or you click OK, um, and also see here you want to use skylight. Okay, once you click skylight and then click OK and then uh, once you render them again you will see here it is more um, clear just better okay better quality overall okay actually um, you can make this darker you don't want to bright and let's render it again so you will see here like um, they're not the same color anymore okay you will see there's some color change okay same with this face okay you can see some color change okay. so that's what the real render should be okay um, the other thing is uh, you can actually set sh shadows for, um, in Rhino uh, for example you, uh, in here uh, you can click total Torgo sound panel and they will ask you whether or not it's turn on sound or not. You can turn it out. Okay, so once you turn it out, this there is a really cool panel. It's the exact same with uh, SketchUp, okay? We did a lot of like sound analysis in SketchUp, but actually you can do the same thing in Rhino, okay? And the result is not bad. Um, see here you can you can change the mouse which year, okay, and the time. And you can set up which direction in the world you want them to be. Okay. Um, for example, in this case, and you can render them again. Then they will have a shape. Okay. Pretty cool. And then uh, the other thing I want to show you is is once you select the, uh, your object, you can actually uh, give them a color or customize the material. For example, once you click material. Um, this layer right now, right? If you change them to objects, see here, you can choose objects. Um, right now it's default. You can add this plus line, and right now, give you a bunch of just like in default. It's really easy, okay? For example, uh, this wood, right? You can choose like different wood types. If I just choose oak, you know, and click OK, then there's this all wood, okay? And this uh, I can make material. Again, go to object, and I can. It's really easy. You just do whatever you want. Okay, sure. See here, there's grass. I can click grass. Then there is grass down here. Okay, and you can render them again. Then they will have some results you want. Okay. Um, cool. You also uh, what can like change the emission color or change the the strengths okay so see here there's not that much grass right now um, if you are changed let's say 80% so there is some grass okay 
Um, and you can give colors see here. You can give different colors. This is a little bit red. Okay. Um, it's just like a really good way to work with it. So I'll uh, remember that. Okay. And it's actually actually this render tool is really powerful. I get I I feel um, it's really fast and you can like change do what kind of settings you want you know um, yeah, there's some post effects like fork glow or like depths of fields you know all that okay I don't see any reason uh, not use this tool okay and then the last uh, you can uh, is um, is the views if you look at all these views right you can actually um, go to set views and you can see here name the views you can actually um, just click this save and you can give a name like view one okay so next time when you like somewhere else right you change your views and uh, you go to set view you go to view one you still go back to the view okay that's the way to save views it's also really necessary uh, tool you want to remember alright so I think this is this today um, if you have any question let me know